Hey people, so I know I've been MIA but I've been sick and I had the flu so for today's video I'm going to show you how I transformed this 5 year old wig I know you guys, I had this since my graduation since 2015 and I decided to revamp it because I mean the hair was workable so I'm going to show you how I got from that to this I know, I know, I know, it looks amazing <laughs> I know, look at that lace. Yes, yeah, so let's get into the video. So I'm gonna cut my old frontal into a six by six or seven by seven closure because ain't nobody got time and money, okay? So basically what I'm doing is I'm dividing it into how big you want your closure to be. And I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut that. And you're just gonna do the same thing for the other side. So as you can see, I have a mini frontal or a six by six and I'm just taking my hot comb and I'm trying to like close the parting I had before. And you really do not want to um, use the front side of the mannequin head because you're going to have like a gap. So what I did was I turned it around and used the back of the mannequin. That way it stays flat when I'm sewing it down. I got this tip from someone on YouTube. I can't remember who. I want to give the credit, but I'm going to look for it and link it down below. But basically, you're going to see that it's flat. And that way you can sew your closure without having it have any like bumps or space. So it's looking really flat and I left some space in front of it because I want to like have that um, I just want to have it like a little bit forward on my face and now I'm gonna sew down the closure to the wig cap and you want to just make sure you're securing it very well I always like to go around it like different times just to make sure it's really tight because I don't want it to loosen up later on And now I'm just going to sew on the bundles and I will get back to you guys when I'm done. So this is what it's looking like. For some reason, I never noticed I had different colors. I did not I, I did not color this. This is how it came um, when it was gifted to me. So I'm just going to comb it out and wash the hair and let it air dry. So basically, this is how it's looking inside. As you can see... And that was like an old six, 13 by 6 frontal I cut into a closure. The hair is pretty full. I'm just shocked that it had different colors because I never noticed that but oh well. So all I did was I shampooed the hair and I used my silicone mix dip conditioner you guys if you have wigs and you do not know about silicone mix then i'm gonna put you on it's a life changer honestly like it can transform your wig it's like the last resort honestly but yeah and i let it air dry overnight so in the next clip you're gonna see me use beats hair remover to customize my my hairline because i really have a wet hairline you guys i'm gonna make a different video on how i do it um because i don't want this video to be too long but as you can see my hairline is so weird <laughs> so i'm not really gonna walk through like my like talk through my um wig installation because i have so many videos showing how i do it so you guys can check that out. I'm going to link it um, somewhere. <laughs> okay. So just enjoy. Also, I really didn't have to like pluck this wig because it was already balding anyways. So I just worked with it however I could. I only like customized my hairline with the bits because that place had to like, it was too low for me. So you guys should just watch the video and it's pretty easy. You can see what I'm doing and enjoy the music and I will be back later. Oh, 
I also thinned out my baby hairs because it was too thick. So that's like the only plucking I had to do. But aside from that, I just worked with the closure um how it was because I really didn't want to pluck too much because it was already balding. Like it was seriously balding, you guys, but it turned out really nice. So yeah, I just plucked the baby hairs. That's all I wanted to say. So enjoy. So yes you guys we are at the end of the video I think it looks amazing let me know what you think what do you guys think and the best part is I did not have to spend money on a new closure or weave you guys save your coins if you have hair at home you can always revamp it you don't have to always buy new weave all the time like <laughs> but let me know what you think do you like it so thank you so much for watching my video you guys thank you for your support don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video i hope you guys stay safe love you bye